If Stuart Varney of Fox Business Channel hasn't made his disdain for middle class workers and federal employees obvious enough over the years, he's going to do it now. Listen to him talk about the government shutdown. Yeah. No. I don't think they should get their back pay, frankly. I really don't. I'm sick and tired of a massive, bloated federal bureaucracy living on our backs and taking money out of us, a lot more money than most of us earn in the private sector, then giving a furlough and then getting their money back at the end of it. Sorry, I'm not for that. I want to punish these people. Sorry to say that. That's what I want to do. Well, Stuart, what about them filing for unemployment? Because we had 5,000 federal workers here in Chicago who were sent home, and a majority of them went straight to the unemployment office. Yeah, you can't beat the system, can you? They're going to get their money any which way you slice it. But I don't have to like it, Amy, and I don't like it. Yeah, but it's not their fault. <laughs> it's not the federal employee's fault. I mean, that's what I'm sick of. I, I hate, and it makes me anxious to see people who are victimized because of a political fight. I, I take your point, Amy. It is not directly their fault. But I'm looking at the big picture here. I'm getting screwed. Here I am, a private citizen, paying an inordinate amount of money in tax. I've got a slow economy because it's all government all the time. And these people are living on our back. I'm getting screwed. I'm getting screwed. Stuart Varney of Fox Business Channel is getting screwed. Because giving your opinions for a living on TV, he deserves all of the five hundred dollars or $800,000 a year that he makes, and it's probably even more than that. That's a very conservative estimate. Are you kidding me? Look, I was tweeting about this earlier. Uh, you can't be a pure capitalist. It just doesn't make sense. And you can't be a pure communist. That doesn't make sense either. Everybody making exactly the same amount of money, that's a horrible system of incentives and disincentives. It just doesn't fit with human nature. But pure capitalism is ridiculous also. You could be a world-renowned genius uh, physicist and professor and make $60,000 a year, and you could be a backup goalie for the Phoenix Coyotes in the NHL and play one game the entire season and make $600,000. Who can defend the rationality of that system? You can't. There's no rationality behind it whatsoever. But see, Stuart Varney, look at his mindset. Oh my God, you're... I'm getting screwed in this mess because my millions of dollars, I can't keep every penny of my millions of dollars. Well, yes, yeah, Stuart, when you are part of a civilized society, you have a social contract and you have to pay for the roads and the bridges and to make sure that your food doesn't give you E. coli or salmonella and you need to pay for the police department so that people don't rob you and you need to pay for the military in case uh, we need national defense. I mean, all these things are obvious, but Stuart Varney is like an anarcho-capitalist. And then he says, well, uh, I want to punish these people. Well, thank you for being uh, open with us, Stuart. We now know how you think of uh, in the average American worker, the middle class person, any federal workers. You have disdain for them. And he says, well, they're living on our backs. Uh, so are the police living on your backs? Are the, is the military living on your back? Uh, anybody who's ever uh, done anything with the government is living on your back? That's a very uh, childish way of looking at it. And uh, he says, no, I don't want them to get their back pay. So they get furloughed because some idiot crybaby politician shut down the government and they have to pay the price. So the politicians can get paid when they're doing nothing and they shut down the government. But the workers who need the money to survive, well, I don't want them to get their money back. What a loathsome character. Now, he's not done yet. So uh, now Stewart is going to tell you, well, look, the economic effects of the government shutdown and the 700,000 people that are not working uh, right now, that has no effect on the economy at all. Listen. The, the shutdown of the government, does that slow down the economy? The markets certainly seem to wave it off yesterday. Hardly slows down the economy at all. So what, 700,000 federal employees stay at home, national parks close, a couple of other items. That is not a big impact on a $15.7 trillion economy. Okay, so you got it? According to Stuart Varney, well, 700,000 people not working anymore, it's nothing. We have, we have such a large economy, 700,000 people not working is nothing. Well, there wouldn't happen to be a recording of Stuart saying that less than 700,000 workers not working anymore is a huge deal. Would there be? There wouldn't be a blatant contradiction. Would there be? 
unemployment applications, first time jobless claims as we call them, rose last week to 336, 30, I'm sorry, 367,000. That was up from 4,000 the week before. Let's bring in Stu Varney, host of Varney and Company on the Fox Business Network. Stuart, uh, that's a lot of people to walk in and file for the first time. Yeah, you know, it's not a question of whether it was up or down a few thousand week to week, in which it's actually up 4,000. Mm -hmm. The point is that that's a very big number. It paints a very negative picture of the overall employment situation. It means that there's more firing, more layoffs than there is hiring people. And it means that the economy is pretty much at stall speed. It's not in good shape. We now have a new number. 388,000 people. That's a very large number. That's the number of people that file first-time jobless claims, highest in four months, and up 46,000 from last week. Hmm. So let me see if I understand this properly. 700,000 people that are not working right now, well, that's not a big deal, that's nothing. But 388,000 people not working, well, that's a huge deal. That's a big number. That's a big deal. Stuart, you're not very good at math, are you? And this is the Fox Business economics expert. <laughs> now, so uh, he doesn't care about the actual numbers, that's obvious. So what can you boil it down to? Where's his motivation? Weird, well, when it's 700,000 people not working because of a Republican government shutdown, that 700,000 doesn't matter. But when the 388,000 people he can blame on President Obama and the Democrats, well then 388,000 is a big number.